So we, what we have here is our material management. So we have our um, augers and conveyors. And our conveyors, these green LEDs are in this uh, yellow button, is that's the automatic function. So you can set your conveyor speeds uh, to automatic based off of the height of material you want and you know going through the uh, through the conveyors as well the augers um, the augers would be at a set um, a speed as well to keep the material at the at a consistent height on the augers and so we have an automatic function there that's uh, that's also generated that this function if it's activated from the screed console uh, will still light up into into this area as well uh, one thing that we do differently um, is we put uh, we have a maneuver, we have a pave mode, a maneuver mode, and a transport mode. So at the end of a pull, to go from the pave mode, you can arrow up and go into the maneuver mode. That automatically turns off all these automatic functions um, and shut, shuts off the grade system, shuts off the feed, the augers, and all that, and locks the screed into place. That way they can maneuver. With other, with other pavers, you have to press five to six buttons to deactivate things. We did that in one button press. And then when I pull back into place, I put it back into the pave mode, everything goes back to the way that I had it set before. So with, with an arrow up, I'm deactivating that and put it into maneuver. Arrow down, I go back into the pave mode. Here we have the screed function, so screed in, screed out, screed heat, uh, screed assist, and you know we have our toe points that we can adjust, and one thing that we do here is we put hydraulic screed locks, so when the operator raises the screed up for his maneuvering or, or shutting down for the day, they raise it up, they press a button, pins come out hydraulically, and then they can set the toe arms down on that. That helps protect the toe arm, uh, helps protect the screed, and also helps protect the, uh, the workers around it. So that's a, that's a nice thing that we do as standard here in North America. And then when we move over to the uh, right side panel, that's where you get into the steering functions, the engine functions. So we have an, uh, a max and an eco mode and a min mode. Normally we'll have our people run it in uh, eco, which is the most uh, fuel efficient um, mode to run into. So you maximize your fuel and get the most out of a, out of a tank and lower your operating cost. Um, this machine being a track machine has a joystick. So we think it's good to drive a track machine with a joystick. Also, we have a feature here called trim steer. So if you're trying to follow a line or you're in a super, um, you use the, the button here and you can actually turn that machine in a, in a fine manner. So it's a, called trim steer or fine steering um, instead of using the joystick. That way, when if you're in a truck exchange and you're in a super or a curve or a radius, um, once you stop, you pick up the next truck, you take off again, it stays into that same steering radius as what you did. Um, and then to go back to straight, you just press the button and center it back. And then we get into the, the hoppers. This is the, to exercise the hoppers, so we can raise the hoppers for transport and we have pins that you can manually put in place there. Or we can raise the hoppers independently. So say you're in a super, the material is sliding to one side, you can actually raise one side or the other independently. Um, we also do put a hydraulic front apron as well, so when you raise both hoppers uh, sides together, also the apron will come up as well. And then we get into the screen. The screen is where, I mean, without this screen, it's still a paver. It paves just the same as a paver without this screen, but it does give you some information. So there's settings that you can do, features that, say, a screed freeze feature you need to turn off, for example, if you're doing a patchwork or something. You can get into the screen, turn those things off. Um, and then, or if you have an issue, uh, a diagnostic issue, uh, you can get into this screen, into the, into the tool section, and you can um, try to find the problem. So let's just say we were going in, we could see what messages we had there and see what, uh, yeah, what we're coming up with. So that rather than having to have a technician come out and plug a computer up to find out what the problem is, we can diagnose the machine and get down to the exact problem.